How does a small town Texas boy go from researcher to entrepreneur that brings nitric oxide to life? Everyone, my name is Dr. Nathan Bryan, and I want to tell you my personal journey from researcher to entrepreneur to bringing nitric oxide to life, building an empire of multi billion dollar company portfolios based on nitric oxide technology. You know, I grew up in small town Texas, got a degree in biochemistry from the University of Texas at Austin, and then a PhD in molecular and cellular physiology from the LSU School of Medicine. And it was there I was introduced to the whole science of nitric oxide. A Nobel Prize had just been awarded for the discovery of nitric oxide as a signaling molecule in the cardiovascular system. The year was 1998, and that's the year I met Louis Darrow, actually 1999 when he came to LSU School of Medicine and gave a, a lecture. And what he quickly told me over dinner was that if we can figure out, if the scientific community can figure out how to safely and effectively deliver nitric oxide, it would change the world and it would change the landscape of medicine. So that was the seed that was planted in my brain in the late 90s, early 2000s. Fast forward for the past 25 years, that's all I've done is number one, how does the human body make nitric oxide? What goes wrong in people that can't make it? And then how do we fix it? And so the, the early work in the lab was doing basic science, trying to understand basic molecular mechanism, going from cell culture to intact tissue systems to animal models to clinical research in humans. And what we were able to discover was that in 2007, really my eureka moment in science was we discovered and we reported in the Proceedings of the National Academy of Science that nitric oxide is a hormone. So it wasn't an autocrine or pericrine mediator that many people thought for previous years. It was actually a hormone. What that means is a hormone is a, is a substance, a molecule that's produced in one biological compartment, and it has systemic effects. The best example is testosterone, produced in the testes of the male, but it has systemic effects. Nitric oxide, produced in the lining of the blood vessels, has an endocrine function, and it affects everything systemically, the heart, the brain, the liver, the sex organs. It's a hormone. So how do we deliver hormones? We call this hormone replacement therapy. If your body can't make it, then we have to provide it for you. So number one, and my whole premise was, and really research is seeing what everyone else has seen, but thinking what no one else has thought. And that's, I think Steve Jobs was famously quoted as, you know, think differently. And that was, that's been my, my guiding principle in research, because when I started in this field, there were probably 60,000 papers published in the scientific literature. Today, there were 200,000 scientific papers in the published literature. And big pharmaceutical companies dating back 25 years ago have tried to develop safe and effective nitric oxide product technology, and they failed. And they failed because they used the wrong approach. Attaching a nitric oxide linker molecule to a parent drug cannot work, will not work, and it proved out that it does not work. So what we did was differently. Number one, if your body can't make nitric oxide, we have to do it for you. So when I started my independent research career at the University of Texas Health Science Center in Houston, at the Institute of Molecular Medicine, where I was recruited by Fred Murad, one of the other gentlemen who shared the Nobel Prize, our whole kind of program was, how do we develop safe and effective nitric oxide-based therapies? And that's where I started filing invention disclosures. The University of Texas started filing patents, a patent started being issued. I started companies. I became an entrepreneur. I started my first company called Nitrosolvix back in uh, you know the early 2000s, right after we started filing patents. And today, fast forward, so we've got over a billion dollars in product technology, built a portfolio of companies that's well worth well over a billion dollars. But more importantly, we've changed millions of people's lives. And every day when I wake up, I get the benefit of opening up my emails and phones and text and voicemails of people that we've changed their lives. And these are people that may have had uncontrolled high blood pressure for 20, 30 years that for the first time in their life, their blood pressure is low. People have suffered from severe erectile dysfunction for years, now have adequate and sufficient uh, blood flow and circulation for, for normal erections. We've reversed their sexual dysfunction. We've reversed their cardiovascular disease. So these are the anecdotal testimonies where really it's leading me and, and convincing me that we're on the right path. And it hasn't been easy. You know, when you make discoveries and you start to develop disruptive technology, then you become a target and people come after you. I've been a subject of a number of lawsuits. People don't like what we're doing. We're, we're, we're changing the world. We're leading the industry. We're actually setting the standard in nitric oxide in terms of nitric oxide product technology. And we're holding companies accountable. If their products aren't producing nitric oxide and they're not understanding the basic mechanisms of how this product may or may not promote nitric oxide production or support nitric oxide production, then we hold them accountable because the consumer needs to know, the consumer needs to be informed, need to be educated to make informed, educated decisions on what's best for them, specifically as it relates to nitric oxide. And the field is confusing, especially in the dietary supplement space. And there are things called nutraceuticals, 
what we do is not a nutraceutical. I coined the term, trademarked the term called nitraceuticals. So what we do are nitraceuticals. Our products produce nitric oxide gas. If your body can't make it, we do it for you. And it's a completely different product category. But more importantly, I think what we also do is because I understand through 25 years of basic science in the lab, uh, in the trenches, understanding basic mechanism, is our product technology actually improves the body's ability to produce nitric oxide on its own. We're restoring the function of the enzyme in the lining of the blood vessel. We're restoring the microbiome in the oral cavity. So now when you take our product technology, your body's actually improving its ability to naturally produce this molecule. And so I think everybody can benefit from, from our nitric oxide technology. I say there's only two people who need it, the people who are sick and want to get well and the people who are healthy and don't want to get sick. And I've been taking my nitric oxide product now for, for early forms of it for probably 20 years. And I don't take it because I need it. I take it because I don't want to need it. And I think that's where we have to change our focus because medicine is reactive. People typically don't make changes or change their habits until there's an event. There's fear. They're sick. They have a heart attack. They have a stroke. Or worse, someone in their family dies. So let's be proactive and take steps before we get sick, before the onset of symptoms, so we can maintain optimal health. You know, our health is our greatest asset. Without it, nothing else matters. You know, people who are sick only have one goal, and that's to get better. And if you're, if you're healthy, we have many goals because we have the means to achieve any goal we want and accomplish anything we want in life. And so this journey from Hackam Edition, basic science researcher to now founder, chairman, and CEO of, um, you know, a company, Bryan Therapeutics, that's going to change the landscape of medicine and healthcare and product technology uh, has not been easy, uh, but nothing worth doing is ever easy. But I can tell you, we cannot be stopped. We will not be stopped. Uh, we're on a mission. Uh, we have the science to our advantage. The science is leading the way, and I will never abdicate the control of my companies to an outside CEO who doesn't lead with science. And I see that so many times companies that get started in this in science, uh, they hunger for the dollar and they change their direction from making profits rather than delivering science-based products that actually work. So you never have to worry about that with us, with our product technology, because we'll let the science lead the way. We do the right thing. And when you do the right thing, the cash register rings but we're not out there trying to ring the cash register. So I've, I've chronicled this personal journey in my latest book, The Secret of Nitric Oxide, Bring the Science to Life. I talk about what nitric oxide is, what it does, what led to a Nobel Prize, and really chronicle this personal journey of discovery, what simple observations we made in the research lab that allowed us to think differently, to pivot, think what others had not think while seeing what everyone else had seen. And I think the culmination of that is our product technology through our N101 brand of products, an orally disintegrating tablet, Again, releases nitric oxide gas in the oral cavity. They have a fermented beet powder. Beets have become very popular. And unfortunately, most beet products out there provide no nitric oxide uh, benefit. So we felt an obligation to, to develop a, a, a superior beet product, ferment our beets, optimize the nitric oxide activity, take out the oxalates, add mitochondrial ATP, add electrolytes for cellular hydration. And then we make an entire skincare line of products, a topical nitric oxide for skincare and beauty. But we're not stopping there. We're taking this technology to the next level through the FDA for drug therapy, going through the rigor and the expense of doing FDA clinical trials. Tens of millions of dollars invested, but we're going to get this product technology through the FDA, safe and effective product technology for heart disease, for Alzheimer's. We're making a topical drug for diabetic ulcers. Uh, safety is not an issue because we employ principles of what's called restorative physiology. We don't employ pharmacology more where we synthesize a compound that inhibits a biochemical reaction. We understand what the body needs, what it's deficient in in terms of nitric oxide, and we give back what's missing. Restorative physiology. And when you employ principles of that through drug therapy and drug development, there are no safety concerns. There are no side effects because this is a naturally produced molecule. Now the challenge is how do we dictate therapy and, and determine the optimal dose and dosing regimen for heart disease? for Alzheimer's? What's the applications for, for topical wounds and diabetic ulcers, not healing wounds? Um, and that's our challenge, but we're moving this forward very quickly. And so I predict that in the next couple of years, we'll have nitric oxide drug therapy on the market, approved in the FDA, and changing lives worldwide. So not only they will they be available over the counter, the consumer products will have these drugs approved on the market as safe and effective drug therapies in the future. 
And so that's the journey. You know, I'm ex- I'm extremely excited about where we are, uh, where we're headed. We've accomplished a lot, uh, but we've got so much more to do. And I thank you for following me on this journey and supporting us and trusting us with your health and your nitric oxide products.